MustangMedic.com. We show you everything from point A to point B, day one to day sold. So enjoy and thanks for watching. Mustang Medic is brought to you in high definition. Mustang Medic. 1969 Mustang Coop F Code Project. Another day in the life of the 69. Okay. This little bolt right here, yeah, I got to do another Lowe's run, guys. Um, the magic bolt drawer is getting a little thin, and when we're putting on new applications, and we've got, and we've got a, a new uh, piece going on, I ain't using old bolts. No, 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 no. So I'm gonna go get uh, eight of these, and that will uh, secure the compressor to the 69, and then we'll be very close. Uh, I'm also gonna get the parts to uh, connect the uh, the fan to it. And I'm ordering the relay today. So a lot's going on with the 69. And oh yes, also with that 429 too. Bunch of grade 8 bolts. Thomas, can you make any more noise right now while I'm doing video? I think you're fine. Think you're fine? Yeah. All right, here we go. Road trip for the bolts. Carlos also reminded me we took the um, adjustment wheel for the, uh, the belt that's going to be on the uh, compressor. And we, sand we wire wheeled it, Joe. We couldn't help ourselves. So we're going to paint this all up and make it all beautiful too. So any new parts that are going to go on that we took off, we are going to clean up and paint. So it's all going to look nice and new. All right, painting away. <laughs> All right, so I went and got some bolts uh, for the uh, application on the new uh, compressor on Joe's 69. Here we go, putting her together. All right, so what we're doing is we, uh, we went and got some parts. Um, I guess I'm gonna, be mentioning the four, I'm gonna be mentioning the 429 often in some of these videos, so forgive me, this is a 69 video. And this is the part right here. It's a nice 110 day, day degree here in Palm Springs. Am I in focus? Yep. Okay. So this part right here, these go through the radiator, and these are on the other side. And these little, you can get them at for like six bucks, five bucks, six bucks. I think I just mentioned that at AutoZone. And this is going to secure this fan, which we found out is going to fit over here. This fan right here, this bad boy, a little dusty, but such is life in the desert, is going to get secured to the radiator. Then we're going to put the radiator in, and we're going to put the compressor on today. So, getting closer and closer with the 69. All right, so taking off the radiator again. Again, be very careful, guys, with these aluminum fins. They bend real easy. And we're going over here. Carlos, you're coming over here. We're laying this down like so. You know what? Let's get a blanket. Let's get it's a blanket. Okay, Carlos. <laughs> Carlos is like, it's okay, it's okay. I'm like, no, no. This business will live and die. I'm doing it right. I'm taking my, my creative juices and I am just doing everything I can to make it as perfect as possible. All right, radiator. We got a blanket down, keeping her nice and safe. Now I'm going to place the fan on there. Here's the fan. I just like doing that for video. And what you want to do is when, you, when you're laying the fan down and you're, and you're prepping it for the radiator, is you want to plan out the wire. Where do you want the wire to be? Because this is where, this is going to plug into the relay, which I actually have to contact. I got to contact Jack over at Matson's radiator and get a couple relays for this. I got to do that today. I said I was going to do that yesterday. I forgot. And what I'm doing now is I'm thinking, okay, is the relay, the relay is probably going to be mounted over here near the battery. So I want this wire to be on the radiator over here. 
so it can feed up and go right to the relay. So this is probably, I could probably go, yeah, I'm going to make this the top. So here over here is the radiator. And now I'm going to lay this down very gingerly in the position that I want the fan. And we, we measured it. You saw in the previous videos that we measured it and we saw that this space is about an eighth of an inch off of the actual water pump pulley and the space is there, which is really good. We tried to use this in Zoma 66, but it was just too big, so we had to get a lower profile fan, which her BTUs suffered, but you know she's doing very well. There was no real issue with it, so that's the good news. So you line up these holes, get in close, Carlos. You want to count these over, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh wow, I centered it perfectly. Shocking. Mm -hmm. Ooh. <laughs> so I'm lining it all up like so. And then I want to make sure that these holes where I'm going to mount the fan through the radiator are going to go right through. So these things, these little spikes right here, they go, they shoot through here, and then you and then you push one of these caps on the other side. And you want to use the foam in between because then it, it lets the fan snug up to the, uh, the cap. You'll understand in a second when I show you. Alright, so you want to put this foam piece in here so there's cushion to pull it, but you want your fan to be as flush to the radiator as possible because you want the maximum suction of this fan pulling the air through these vents. You don't want to have a gap of space between the fan and the radiator because then air is going to leak out and it's going to come in from the outside and it will cut off the efficiency of your fan. Make sure your fan is against the radiator. So now what I do is, and this is going to, you got to be careful about this because you're basically putting it through, you're penetrating it right through the radiator. And I'm going to do this on all four of them. You'll see all four. And then I'm going to lift the radi radiator up and push them through. MustangMedic.com Please look for the link in the description below for the next in our series. If it's not there, come back soon. MustangMedic.com